Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. The USDA Cattle Inventory Report being released this month will provide a benchmark for cattle supplies going into the second half of the year. The long-run trend of continued supply declines can be anticipated again as the USDA reports supplies as of July 1st. The closely watched feeder cattle and calf supply outside of feedlots is derived from report estimates. The number reflects the inventory of domestic and imported feeder cattle and calves available to U.S. feed yards. Domestic supply suggests this number could be considerably lower than last year. However, feeder cattle imports from Canada and Mexico are up more than 30% in the last six months. Since July 2011, those imports are up nearly 20%. That equals nearly 300,000 head of additional imports over the last 12 months, compared to the same period a year ago. A smaller domestic supply, and considerably higher imports, will likely keep feeder cattle supplies mostly steady with a year ago. However, calves weighing less than 500 pounds will likely be down between 1 and 2 percent, and feedlot inventory should be up nearly 1 percent compared to 2011. This will result in a July 1st feeder cattle and calf supply outside of feedlots that is down 1.2%, or 400,000 head, at 36.4 million head. On a percentage basis, this decline is about 50% smaller than the last two years, but nearly double the 10-year average decline. Expansion is likely to remain muted by the ongoing U.S. drought, which will keep su available supplies from increasing in the short run. However, it's important to realize the role cattle imports can play as record prices attract additional supplies. The Fed cattle market was mostly $2 softer on light to moderate trade volumes. The South traded at $114 to $115 per hundred weight on a live basis. The North trade at $114 to $115 live, and mostly $182 to $184 per hundredweight dressed. Feeder cow prices were quoted sharply lower due to the ongoing increase in corn values. Calf prices were also quoted sharply lower, although most offerings consisted of fleshy, unweaned calves. The weaker market prices for feedlot replacements led to lower overall trade volumes. Slaughter cows were mostly $2 to $10 lower. The box beef cutout moved lower this week on weakening middle meat values. The softer market reflects slower demand past the 4th of July holiday and the extremely hot weather throughout much of the country. Corn values continue to move higher on dry weather concerns. The USDA cut yield estimates to 146 bushels per acre on Wednesday. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. For more than 40 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, become a member at CattleFacts.com.